Do you have a DIY project or repair that you need to make? Our 3.5 millimeter stereo connector will provide an inexpensive solution for creating a dual channel audio cable. A female stereo connector can be identified by the three soldering points. 3.5 millimeter refers to the diameter of the jack. It is the most common size jack for small electronic devices such as headphones. This connector contains an all metal jack and soldering points. To install the connector, you will need a soldering iron, solder, a wire stripper, and the cable. Since this is a stereo connector, our cable will need two conductors and a shield. Unscrew the strain relief and slide it onto the audio cable. Using a cable stripper, strip back the cable jacket. Then, twist the shield together. Cut off any additional filler material. Strip the jacket around the center conductors. Tin the conductors and shield by adding solder to the ends of each wire. Tinning helps make a more lasting and professional bond. Take the connector and with a vise or helping hands, tin the solder points on the connector. The sleeve is the longest piece of metal coming out of the back of the connector. If you are unsure of which solder point corresponds to the tip, ring, or sleeve, you can use a multimeter to check continuity. You can also use the multimeter to test how the tip, ring, or sleeve relate to the tabs on the back of the connector. For a female connector, the easiest way to identify continuity is by inserting a male connector that you've already pinned out and then test continuity between each side of the connectors. Solder the tinned shield to the sleeve and the conductors to the tip and ring. Using pliers, pinch the strain relief onto the outside jacket. Slide up the strain relief and tighten onto the connector. Congratulations, you have successfully soldered the 3.5 connector. For all of your cable and connector needs, choose Show Me Cables.